Hello friends, today we're gonna to take a look at this handy toolkit which helps you bend the leads of axial components like this capacitor for easy insertion into just about any through hole circuit board. If you watch my recent Macintosh SE Reloaded series, you saw me bending dozens of components by hand using only a pair of needle nose pliers. Doing it that way requires skill, a steady hand, and good eyesight. But of course, not everyone can do that. The good news is that this toolkit called Speedy Bins allows you to painlessly bend the leads of axial components like resistors, diodes, inductors, and of course capacitors. The numerous slots on each one of these tools, and on two of them both front and back, help you bend the leads to match nearly any PCB hole spacing. These tools are sold by Probe Master, based in California, and they appear to be made in the USA too, which is pretty unique. Although ProbeMaster sells each of these tools individually, I decided to buy the set of three because I don't know which components are going to fit and which don't. And I'm glad I made that purchasing decision because I found that I need the complete set of three tools in order to bend all of the passive components for the Macintosh SE Reloaded project. Now, even if you're not going to do this particular project, it's still good to have the complete set of tools because you never know what components you may have, the axial components, uh, for any given through hole project. The Speedy Bins kit comes with this information guide, very simplistic. It talks about model 801, which is this one, 802, which is this turquoise one, and model 901, which is the big fat guy over here. And fortunately, all of the measurements are in inches. Not good for the most of the world, but I've remedied that by converting it to millimeters. And I'm an American, but I prefer millimeters because as an engineer, it's much more precise. Unfortunately, these measurements aren't quite accurate. Instead of 10.2 millimeters, I'm reading 10.02, so it's a little bit off. And on the opposite end, I'm getting 37.15 or 37.2, and it should be 38.1, so that's even more off. And the other two tools measure a little bit off as well, but that's not really a big deal for reasons I'm going to show you now. Now here's an example through a whole board. This is the SE Reloaded board. If we want to do C45, 0.1 microfarad ceramic through hole capacitor, how are we going to bend the leads? And the answer is we take our small guy here, model 802, and we're going to start off by putting the narrow width into the hole and slowly sliding him up until both edges cover just the very outer edge of the pad. And so that's one, two, three, four, five. And we just slide him in there and then push down. And then we just push down on the leads. Now our perfectly bent capacitor just slides right in. Okay, let's try a quarter watt resistor this time. Nope. We can see this tool is a bit too small for its body. And here's the same resistor in the 801 tool. The slot is a bit too big for it. But if we flip the tool over, the body fits perfectly. Let's try a practical example here with R38. We move it down slowly, first notch, no, second notch, no, still much too much of a gap. We want the tool to go over the pad just very slightly, so we see that 0.5 is the ideal here. So with the body centered, we want to press down on it, and then we just pull straight down and squeeze to make the lead straight. And another perfect fit. Okay, what about axial capacitors? Well, even on the wide side of the 801 tool, we see the body is still too wide for this tool. But on the 1 watt side of the 901 tool, it fits just fine. All right, let's bend the leads for C38. So we need to get our 901 tool, go past the first hole, no. Second hole seems close, but actually the tool is pretty high, so that's not it either. Just a bit of overlap, and 0.9 it is. Let's try that. Okay, one, two, three. But I want to be able to read the capacitor, which says 25 volts, 33 microfarad. So now that that's displaying up, I'm gonna push it down and hold it, and then I'm gonna bend the leads straight down. And this one slides right in perfectly as well. And because it's a polarized electrolytic, we want to make sure that the negative points to the negative side. You see the plus over here is positive. For even larger components, we see that 1 watt fits fine on the 1 watt side, but of course 
this 3 watt resistor doesn't. Flipping it over though, doesn't fit in the 2 watt section, but it does fit in the middle section. We also see there's a pretty good gap between the bottom of this 3 watt resistor and the bottom of the central section of the 901 tool. To measure the depth for you of that central section, I folded a piece of paper. Then I measured that section of the paper to be about 5.1 millimeters. That means you can put two times the radius or about a one centimeter in diameter capacitor or other component in this cent central section. And that's what this is. This is actually a little bit bigger. It's 10.25 millimeters in diameter. As you can see, the capacitor is just a little bit too big for this section such that the leads are coming up above. They're not sinking down into the gaps. That's because this little these little raised letters are pushing up on it. So I would say that about a centimeter is the maximum diameter of the components you can put into the middle section of tool 901. In the bottom B section though, there's no problem at all with a nice gap underneath. I measured the depth of this B section and found it to be 7.7 .7 millimeters, which multiplied by two is 15.4 millimeters. But of course that's with the leads on the very top here. If you want the leads to go down into the gaps, you should restrict the body diameter to about 14 millimeters. And the maximum length of the body that will fit is measured to be 32.9 millimeters. Here are my detailed measurements for you showing the maximum body length for the front side and back side of each speedy bend. All said, the Speedy Bends kit is extremely helpful when assembling any through hole circuit board where you have axial components. The kit saves you time and helps you make your bends more precise. All for a pretty nice price. And that's no joke either, because not only is the price extremely low, uh, currently in August 2022, the price is only uh, $12.25 for the kit of three, uh, but the international shipping was much lower than I thought. You know, with coronavirus inflating the prices of all shipping uh, in most countries globally, uh, I have actually paid this price or higher for about this same weight. Even though these are small and lightweight, still uh, some of the prices are pretty outrageous. But I paid all of 16 US dollars for shipping. And that brought my total product plot price plus shipping to $28.25. Yes, uh, these are pieces of plastic, but they're very well made and uh, they're not made in China either. So I'm willing to pay a little bit more for that. Uh, they're very good quality. And I would highly recommend them. I don't know exactly what your shipping prices would be, but if it's anything like US to Japan, then it's very reasonable. And if you're based in the United States, then of course you're going to get it cheaper still because domestic US shipping is of course much ship cheaper than international. So I've put a link to the Speedy Bins product page for you down in the text description below. Be sure to check that out. Before I go, I'd like to offer humble thanks to Philippe in France uh, for being a new generous monthly supporter of this channel. And uh, as I mentioned at the end of my last video, Philippe is posting details of his SE Reloaded build. He's actually doing two at once over at the Tinker Different Forum. So be sure to check the text description below because I put a link to that thread for you there. And uh, even if you're not planning to do the project, I think it's still very educational. So be sure to check that out. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Thank you for watching today, folks, and I wish you a wonderful day.